Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode Metal is a free downloadable title for owners of both episodes of Sonic 4 on the same device. This episode puts the player in Metal Sonic's shoes and explains his return from his defeat from Sonic the Hedgehog's CD. The story begins with Metal Sonic's defeat in the Stardust Speedway. It shows that much time has passed and Little Planet is returning to orbit around Sonic's world. Dr. Eggman sends a device that reactivates Metal Sonic and he barely flies back to Eggman's base in Mad Gears. It is here that Metal Sonic is restored and his adventure to defeat Sonic begins. The gameplay puts Metal Sonic in four different acts from Episode 1. Each act is essentially a hard mode from Act 1 of each of Sonic's levels in Episode 1. Metal Sonic's levels also play in reverse order, Mad Gear being the first zone and Splash Hill Zone being the last. The graphics are the same from episode 1, but the physics are taken from episode 2. It is nice that this game took the time to explain why most of the levels return from episode 1, as it didn't make much sense before why all the levels were rehashes. This is the first time a villain has ever had his own game, so it is funny to see when Metal Sonic passes the goal plate at the end of a stage, the sign turns from a picture of Sonic to a picture of Metal Sonic. What I don't like about this game is it is too short. There is nothing to do except beat the game. There are no chaos symbols, no red star rings to collect. The episode can be completed with watching every cutscene in about 15 minutes. I know it is free DLC, but I wanted a little more than a 15 minute game. I also don't like that the game has the same enemy placement issues as episode 1 did. It just feels cheap every time you get hurt. Overall, this is a little entertaining game that mostly will only get a few playthroughs from me. I give Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode Metal a 5 out of 10. It's not a bad game, but there's just nothing to do and it isn't much fun playing it.